welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys um how to make a super duper easy a starter house in minecraft starter survival house so the ceiling here is a bit low but you can always make it higher but you know you don't really have that much material when you first start out so i think this is pretty good so i'll show you from the top it looks like this this is the first floor right now and you can make it bigger, but like you should probably make it like this shape, kind of like this. And then the logs add kind of like a texture to it, which is really good. So I already kind of started on it, but I can, uh, it's all right. I'm still not done with it, definitely not. So you add these up, these pillars, and I'm using um dark oak and oak since I think um oak is like the most easiest block to get when you first start out and dark oak just looks really good and like after oak birch is really easy to get to but it doesn't really match together in my opinion so i will be using dark oak for this build so we'll do that get this part in beautiful now the roof we're going to actually fill it in with oak, like this. So, the bottom, the floor, oh yeah, I accidentally filled it up with the wrong block, but it's alright. Um, the walls will be dark oak, or you can do the other way around, it's really your choice, because it's going to be your base, if you're building it. And, you know, we're just going to do this part. And the thing, the top is going to be kind of like a lookout tower slash kind of like a mini garden up here. So we're going to add some dirt up here, which is going to be kind of our garden. And then we can add like fences up here too. Like this. For a little garden at the top. And we'll just go um, run this all the way across. All the way across. And this is more of functional than pretty just you know saying but it will still be pretty it's not like it's gonna be ugly or anything it's just like it's more based on the functional side than the pretty side so let's get rid of this for a second we'll need some stairs i think we'll use dark oak wooden stairs we're gonna continue all the way across here like that i think that looks pretty good then you can enter here and we'll probably make an i want to just keep it open like that but then this is a survival base so it's got to be kind of functional uh and then we're gonna add an oak door on this side there you go we're gonna have kind of like a double door that's good and i think we'll also have like another door on this side so you can have like two entrances that you can go into maybe that's pretty cool i guess and then, or we can actually change this, and then we'll just use oak. Like that. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Hello, chicken. How do you like this house? Well, I agree with you, chicken. I just said that this house is amazing, and then it's just a. And then the chicken said, "You should subscribe to Sarah Plays." Did you, by the way? You should if you haven't. The chicken says though, and. You know, who's wiser than a chicken? Let's go here, along the sides, like this. We'll frame it, kind of. And this is going to have, like, a lot of windows, too. So it's going to be really, really pretty. And we'll probably put the ladder right here. So we got to cover this area. It's going to have a bedroom, like, kind of like a kitchen a crafting zone i guess you know the essential stuff that you need in a base and put down some ladders put down these this little ladders and then now we can go up to the balcony now on top of the balcony this is not that really this isn't really like pretty but this is very essential to any base but i don't think i want to kind of like sticking out of there like that looks really weird so I think that we'll kind of incorporate it into our build, actually. So if we get these logs, I think that's the house that we can probably, let's see. 
Yeah. All right. So I think we're gonna have a lookout tower over here with these planks. So it like towers over, and then you can kind of like see all the monsters or whatever your enemies or whatever you're looking for from the top of this lookout tower. So you can always come up here and then look. This one doesn't look really like good, I guess, in spite of the house like that. But you know, it's essential to like every base, a lookout tower, so you always know if anyone's gonna like invade your base or if you're looking for monsters or whoever. So this is really yeah, we will need this. And instead of surrounding this with walls, I'm gonna use fences because like you gotta actually see the enemy from here and you might want to like shoot them out. I think these add a really nice little detail to our build here at the edge. That looks nice and we can go down. Probably pop down a ladder here. And we're going right back down. Okay, that looks good. We have a nice little patch of garden here. We're going to do something with that later. So, we'll probably add some stair uh, some chairs too. This is kind of like more of the decoration bit of the house, so this is like completely optional. And I'll probably add some No, ooh, this one's pretty good. So, you can actually add like this and it's like an open and closable table. So you sit here, and then you can open your table, and then you can also close them down. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Let's go down into the main... This is like the upstairs, kind of like your bedroom kind of feel. So I think we'll have uh, mostly glass here. But then we'll cover up the top here like that. And up here, we should probably add some overhangs to it to make it more detailed. Now I'll add some top hangs or whatever onto it too so it has like a really cute vibe or whatever and we're gonna add this here we're gonna go like this i was thinking we could kind of make like a bay window upstairs yeah so not here so this part i actually want to be like really really like glass and of course this part is kind of more like on the aesthetic side so you know you don't have to do that but that's really cute i think and then you can go inside here through the doors and then we'll probably need more of these here line up the floors beautiful i think this house is really coming together right now so i think we can actually use the oak logs for a little separation around here like that and then you can have kind of like a section here that's like glass and then you can like i don't know uh use oak oh that actually doesn't look too bad and you can use kind of like these for like shutters like on the sides like this no, no, no. you can add them on the sides like this close it up wait this is for the outside but you can also do inside too you can do inside and outside this shutter design is really really cute and I really like it too, so that's nice. Now you can continue the design along all of these. And, oh, it, it does kind of look strange though, but it's alright. Doesn't look too bad. Except that this one, no, that, yeah, that one's also done, I don't know. So, oopsie. There we go, that looks really good. Look at those. Like, a little bit of detail really, like, changes up your thing, your build. You can add some more overhang to, I mean, underhang to it, or whatever. That's really nice. And to add a little bit of greenery to it, I was kind of wondering if I can add... Oh, that doesn't look too good, though. Ooh, but I do have this. Like, does that make it better? I mean, that's not bad. That's not good, but that's not bad. Come on, give me a flower. Come on, give me a flower. Alright, we can have whatever we want on here. We'll just put a little fern down. Okay, that's a big fern. We want a small fern. 
or a flower will be fine. Fine, we can have some grass, I guess. You can put whatever you want down on here. Um, flowers, anything, it's fine. We have some more grass, and then we'll have, please get flower. No more grass, come on. Come on. Come on, ugh. Come on, dude. Okay, maybe, like, you can, like, collect your own flowers and add them there instead of, like, the grass and stuff, because that's not really good. Grass is very ugly, so you can probably add, like, your own thing, but we're not, we'll just have grass anyways. And, you know, that added a nice touch of color there. And then this can be, like, your farming area, or it can be kind of, like, your garden area, like this. I have, like, some grass and stuff. So that could be your farm or your gardening area, it doesn't matter. This is the second floor. And I believe this part I really want to make kind of like an overhang, kind of like a beach window or whatever you call those. So this one we're going to need some glass panes. And we'll take this one, let's see. So we got to get it right. So we're gonna go here, and it kind of gets like it kind of goes outside like this, I think. Like this. Okay, yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm not bad. Now you can kind of make like this kind of really cool like popping out windows, and then you can line the bottom with trap doors. And line the top with trap doors, or it can, or you can use slabs. Yeah, I feel like slabs is better. Let's go look for some slabs. And you can line them with trap doors or slabs, or even upside down stairs will look not too bad. But for this one, I'm gonna use slabs, and I think I'm gonna leave the top spruce, the trap doors. Now it's kind of like a kind of like an overlook, so you can like kind of like look out and stuff. That's pretty cool. And this part you can just cover it in your you know usual this thing, the wood, and I mean you could add windows here, but like too many windows isn't that good. It looks kind of weird if you have too much, I guess, unless it's like a modern house, of course. But well, we do still want some, so we'll add some here, like that. And then we'll probably add, like, can we, like, does that look good? I feel like it doesn't look too bad, but it feels kind of strange adding just, like, ladders there. So for this one, I think we're going to add a nice little garden box. No, but the bottom, yeah, we're going to add a garden box in the other windows. Yeah, that's good. So we'll probably, ooh, what about, like... Fences. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of like not really a frame. It just adds a little bit of you know something to your window. Yeah, frame it with frame it with fences. Who knew? Then this is where we're gonna probably make our nice little uh plot with the hanging out thing. So like this this and then we'll probably line up line it up here add these here we're going to put it on the bottom too to make kind of like a box a window box we'll do the sides too that's really nice and now we're going to need some flowers to decorate it so last time we just tried with bone meal it didn't work so now we're going to do it with actual flowers we're going to have a poppy Let's use a Lulilu dandelion. How many do we have? Yeah, that's perfect. Pop these guys down. Beautiful. Now you got your little own garden box. So we have the upstairs. Then we can go down. And then this is kind of the window. And you can see your flowers. There's kind of like the fences there. The overhang kind of window. And then we can use these to cover up the walls now this part doesn't need any window though and i feel like this part doesn't need any either but i really like i feel like that's kind of too no that's good because so all your attention goes to like this window instead of like everywhere being a window that's 
good. Now I probably have the edge here. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay, not at the edge on this side because the shutters are over there. We'll probably put it... Let's put it... Right about here would be nice. Wait, no, but isn't this the place with the... Yeah, but it's, it's fine. We can still go here. We can have this here, and then this can be the downstairs area. Where we're going to cover this with these. And we'll add a little window here. We'll, of course, add those shutters, which look really nice. So we're going to add those. That's nice. And then we're going to get some more dark oak thingajigazings. Now, for this one, I think uh, we're going to actually add the windows to the top. So you can't really see like, but, like, it gives you a bit of natural light to your house. From the outside, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks actually kind of good. Except that I don't like the doors, but, you know, who cares? I think we need better doors, but, you know. I really like the shutters and, like, the plant thing and the big window here. We also have, like, two doors. Now we can go upstairs. Hello, up to your bedroom, or whatever room you want. You can go back up to your little balcony where you can grow stuff, or whatever you want to do. And I think you should actually add a trap door there, so not like anyone can get in. And then up here, you can just, uh oh, well, that's dangerous. You gotta be careful not to fall off your ladder. Get up here, go onto your nice watchtower. And, you know, watch. And if you're kind of annoyed, then you can also also add, like, a trapdoor there. And then you can go, <gasps> enemy! And then you just go, pew, 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 <gasps> pew, pew, I'm not good at aiming. No, that's so close. Stop moving. Come on, Porky. Come on, Porky, Porky, Porky. Yes, I got him. And, you know, just, you know and stuff and then you can always close it and then come back down that's really cool part and you can also instead of having kind of like a garden you can actually have like a functional farm you can kind of expand it all the way if you want your choice and then once we go down and then we can close it this can be your bedroom okay so this is good and once you've watched this whole thing you can leave right now or you can uh, wait till the end to actually, or you can stay right now and then, you know, what, uh, do the interior too. So, the red bed is the most iconic bed ever, so we'll probably, I actually want them here, kind of like here. So it's actually like at the bay window, so you kind of wake up at the bay window. But then I realized I don't want it there, and then I realized I want it right here. Right next to the windows, which is really nice. And we'll have, like, a crafting table here. We also need an enchanting place and a chest room. So I don't really like chests that much because you can't really... They're not really that functional, but they're um, better than than uh, barrels, I guess. Because barrels are very ugly, in my opinion. Well, maybe we have to cover up one window. Oh, man... No, I don't want to. Okay, we'll go like this. There you go. So now it doesn't cover up the window. But it still works like that. It looks really cool too. And then the chests can just be like randomly placed. Like one on there. One down here. One next to your... One can be next to your bed. You know. And then we can have a double chest there. Kind of. No, I don't like that. Let's put a double chest right here then. Alright, that's not bad. And then we should probably... We need... Uh, what's that called? Pots, pots, yes, pots. We need the pots with the... Yeah, the flower pots. And then the flowers. Like, just adding a flower pot and a flower, like, really makes it way more cozier, you know? It makes it really nicer. So I add, like, a flower pot, and bam! Now it's really cool. Oh, look, that's way cooler, too. 
And then we can probably add a crafting table there. We'll add kind of like a smelting furnace on that side. We'll get rid of that. And we'll also definitely need another flower. Hmm, what should we do? I feel like I really like the cornflower. It's really pretty. So I think I'll put one there and then another one there. So it really like kind of like makes the room really nice. Okay, I think that's good. We'll also need a brink stand, this one, and what else do are we gonna need? Oh, paintings are really nice, I guess. Uh, do people even use looms or anything? I don't think they do. And then, uh, grindstone, I don't think anyone uses that. We'll probably need more chests for downstairs. Uh oh, my battery's low. We better wrap this thing up. So that's good for upstairs, and of course, uh, you can add some more stuff. Ooh, that's a pretty good painting, actually. That, that's good. We'll probably add an anvil right there. Uh-oh. So let's go downstairs now. So downstairs is pretty, like, whatever you want to do. You know, I mean, there's not really a lot to do here. You just gotta add, you know, your normal stuff, like... I mean, I don't even know if you want tables or anything, since this is Minecraft and you don't really need them. But if you do, let's add one. If you're the kind of person that adds tables to Minecraft, even though it's definitely not functional, let's build it. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. And we're going to add these upside down stairs on this side. Hello, are you here to visit, cow? No? Okay, bye. Anyways, here's our nice little table, and we'll have the chairs. I don't think we should make it the same color, though. Make it like spruce. Spruce chairs. That's really bizarre, but there you go. And one can be like kind of like pulled out, so it actually looks like someone's been sitting here or something. And of course, we can't forget the flower pot. Let's add a little cactus in there. There you go. That looks really good. And of course, we definitely need... Where's that thing go? Where did it go? We definitely need a cake. Oh, it's an equipment. Alright. Because, you know, everyone loves a cake. And you can kind of make it like it's kind of being eaten. It's like almost done or halfway done. There you go. That's pretty cool. And that's basically it for the downstairs. Of course, you can add some more carpet and stuff if you want to uh, make it kind of more gooder, I guess. Kind of cover those up. But you got to make sure not to put carpet in front of like, enchanting tables if you have the bookshelves in, front, in between the bookshelves because then it's going to lose it. Because then the bookshelves will lose the ability to like give it more better luck at getting good enchantments. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I really hope that you build this house in your survival world. I, I honestly think it's kind of good. Like, in my, I'm um, just being honest, okay? Because I'm a really bad builder. So, I really think that this was quite an accomplishment. Along with this one. This is, like, really good, though. Make sure to watch this video, too. I'm, I'm going to be making a video about this house. Bye.